Welcome back to another Assessor Corsa video. Today's video we're going to be looking at the setup I did for the BMW Z4 GT3 around Spa. Instead of testing it out against online lobby, I thought I'd take it to a three lap sprint race against the Alien AI, starting from last place on the grid, and we'll see where we can get up to within three laps. So we're going to run, obviously, tyre wear on. We're going to put the tyre blankets on just so we can get straight up to speed. And we're going to just see what we can do running, obviously, starting on that last pos last position on the grid and seeing how far up the grid we can get. So we're going to obviously make sure that we load the correct setup up. And I will link you the setup that I used, if you've not seen the video yet, into the description so you can check it out. So we're loading on a par 2, two minutes 17 setup, which is possible for a 2 minutes 16 now, I think. I think we got into 2 minutes 16 the other day. But I'm going to test it out against the Alien AI anyway and see what we can do against them. Okay, so that's the setup loaded up now. So we're going to go back straight into the race and see how far up, up the order we can get within three laps. So it's going to be, we're not going to be looking at lap times here. We're going to be just going out and seeing how many positions we can make up because we're going to be fighting our way through 15 other cars along the grid. So we're going to see if we can get a good start. We get an okay start, but we forgot to put traction control off, I think, straight away. So, we, so we're changing it there. We're going to put traction control off now. And we're going to break as late as we can without trying to hit anyone. So we break really late there, just getting on the brakes, just in time. As you can see there, it's one of the alien AI actually hits one of the other um, cars there in the first corner, Mayhem. But we managed to get through the corner and we're in 11th position going up to a Rouge. So we're going to find this is really tricky now because the AI is going to break through a Rouge a little bit too much as compared to what we would do. We would have took that nearly flat out. Well, we would have took it flat out, to be honest. Um, we ended up going through that and we had to cut a little bit of the corner off of a rouge there or we would have ended up hitting him but we ended up coming out of that corner in 8th position from the start which is a really good start so we're going to come up into the really tight braking zone where we should be able to break a, a bit later than what they are going to do and gain a bit of time we break nice and late um, we've caught up a fair bit just in that one corner already and it looks like there's a bit of a train going along up ahead we should be able to get Maybe we can get two or three positions before the end of this lap, but let's see what we can do. So the, he locks up there going into the corner. I don't understand how he could lock up running. Obviously with factory settings, you should be running ABS. These cars run ABS as standard um, in real life, so I don't understand why the car locks up there, but it did it. But we're going to see what we can do now. We're going to have a little look on the inside, but that, that'll just be a daft move. So we're just going to stay stay, stay behind this car now and see what we can do. Run a little bit wide there. I don't know if we've got a little bit of... Um, disturbance from the car ahead but it seemed to understeer quite badly and we're just going to hold hold back a bit and see what we can do so we're, we're still in eighth position we want we, we really wanted to get a little bit further ahead at this point but it's not all lost at this point for the for the win if we can try and go for that win so holding behind now just waiting for an opportunity we should be able to get an opportunity into the tight chicane up ahead now that should be a really good opportunity to get another position. We might be able to get this car up the front on this next corner because if we can get alongside him, I know they'll lift off going into a bend. They're a little bit, they don't like to hit you, so you might find he'll lift off if I just, no, yeah, yeah, he's lifted off there because he knew that I was around the outside. So that's another position, and we nearly lost it on the kerb as well, coming through the fast corner. So we're going into braking zone. We've got another position there, braking as hard as we can, just about, he's on the inside now though, so we need to be really careful on the accelerator now but we, we've come out of the bend and we're in sixth position from one lap so we've gained a nice amount of places in one lap there so now on to lap two and seeing what we can do on lap two it's going to be a little bit harder now these front cars are going to be a little bit faster and there's a little bit of space between them now so the speed's going to be a lot a lot better than what it was in that first lap but a rouge is a really good opportunity when we're, we're we might be a bit too close to them here now because they're going to lift on the top of a rouge we don't need to lift in this dead four setup we've got as you can see there we're going to have to we're going to have to run very tight there we nearly ran into it but we managed to keep a nice tight line and come out we've actually gained another position there as they seem to break quite a lot for a rouge for some reason they seem to be lifting the ai on a rouge i think they could have took that flat out maybe it's something with the programming of the ai but maybe they should take that a little bit faster we outbreak ourselves a bit there we went into the corner a little bit too fast but we've we've still kept it on the track and we've kept the rate the, the, the lap going on a reasonable lap now so we're now in fourth position just a few more places three more places ahead of us to make up for the victory so it, it should be possible but we're gonna have to rely on getting past these two cars up ahead pretty soon maybe if we can get at least one on this lap and then we can get the next two on the next lap 
So we'll see what we can do now. So we're going into the long, fast left-hander. Going into fifth gear, we take that quite nice. Not the best we could have took it, but we've got decent speed coming out the exit, and we, we really want to get as close as we can to that car going into the, the um, long back straight. If we can get as close as we can and then pull a move off into chicane, that'll be nice. But one thing I found about um, the AI, AI is they're very fast through these, through corners, these few corners here now. They seem to be on, on the um, limit of what you can do through there. I mean, I'm running wide there, and I'm, I've actually lost a bit of time coming out of there, I think. But we're, st we're still close. We, I think we're going to have to, we might get one place. I don't know if we'll be able to throw, off, throw one off the inside or not. Let's see how close we can get. So we're coming up to the, the third place guy now. It's, it looks like they're pulling away a bit on the acceleration there. Maybe they're running slightly lower downforce configuration than what we are. It might explain how they go through it when they go through a roost they have to lift. So we've braked really late and we, we just managed to stop the cars. They brake a lot earlier than what we can. So coming out the final corner and we're right on the right on the back end of the third place car. Okay, so let's see what we can do on this final lap. We've got to make up three positions in this final lap to take the victory on a three lap race against the Alien AI. It, it could be possible because of through a rouge now, they're going to be pretty slow, I think. I and mean, it looks like two cars are there for the taking. If we can try and go around a lap time there, 2 minutes 18.1, considering that's in traffic, that's not bad for this setup. Definitely could have got a low 217 if I had clear traffic. So we're going to go on the inside there. We had to go over the curb a bit there to avoid him. And we should be able to get into second position before we get to the end of the next straight now. Let's see if we can do it. We get a little bit of a slip through. We're going to go for the inside line. And we've got that position now. And we're going to be attacking that first place guy. Let's see if we can get that first place. So we're into second position. We try and we break a little bit late. I think there we managed to hold it on okay. A little bit of slipstream took us by surprise there. And we break a little bit too late. But he's gonna let he's, he's messed up that corner. It looks like we might. I think we can throw it up the inside here now. Let's see if we can throw it up. We're gonna throw it up the inside and yep. We threw up the inside down into second gear to stop that car running wide. Take a nice tight line. He's on our left, but he's give up. He's give up the battle for first place. And we're in the lead now. So it's just a case of cruising home now and seeing if we can just keep the car on the track. We know they're very fast for this last this last little um so these few sec a few bends up ahead now. So we've got to see if we can just hold this position now and take the first position from this three lap sprint race. So we're in first position. And we've got a nice gap now. We've got a little bit of a cushion from that long, fast left hander. The car, the setup that I've done for this car, really does work well around them corners. So we're in first place, and we've just got to hold this position now. But you can see they gain through these corners now. They could be getting quite close with if they're running that lower downfall setting on this back straight. As you can see, they gained a little bit there now. That second place guy, he's in the mirror there, and we're getting onto this back straight. We, we do that quite nicely and get quite a good bit of drive coming out of that corner though. And we've just increased that gap just a little bit. We've just got to be careful into the braking zone now for the very tight chicane just to make sure that we don't make any stupid mistakes break late break or, or lose the back end by going over the curve too severe so we're just going to see if we can get this break we're going to break a little bit early than what we normally would down into second gear down it and staying in second gear. we're not going to risk going into first gear in case we lose that back end staying in second gear nice and cleanly out the final corner and over the line for a victory against the alien ai in three laps starting from last position great little battle and i really enjoyed doing that video i think i'll um, definitely do some more races against the ai like that three lap battles against them with the setups that i've done anyway guys i'll leave you with the replay of the just the last lap and a half i think that's all it saved because of memory bit of an issue with a set of course but it's still worth leaving on there for you guys to watch and watch the battle as i overtook these last few positions anyway guys thanks for watching and i'll make sure you watch me future videos for more setup videos to come and more sprint races against the alien ai thanks again guys